we're here at Rob, Clay's parents on Hit the Floor. What's happening, y'all? So we just want him to say hello to everybody real quick. Thank you for checking out KeepMeTheBeauty.com. You know what's up. Thank you. Thank you so much. All day. Very positive. So, where do you draw from to play him? 
Oh, well, I mean, there's probably a little bit of that somewhere in there. Uh, just don't let it out, right? You know, everybody's got different sides. You just got to keep them in check. Um, no, it's, 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 the, it's, it's all about the story, you know. They, they put words on the page, and, and uh, a lot of times as an actor, it's not even what you say. It's what other people say about you in the script. Um, so there's that. But, I mean, it's, it's just that it's, that's where Terrence lives and where they asked him to go, and, and, and I was able to, uh, to bring that to life the very first time I walked. I actually auditioned for Derek in the very beginning. I was doing Single Ladies in Atlanta, and they, I, they asked me to send them a tape for uh, this new show, which was then called Bounce, and uh, they had to audition for Derek. So I sent them a tape, and by the time I got back to L.A., they said, we want you to come in and read for Terrence. And I was like, all right. And the next thing I know, and here I am playing Terrence. Um, but I like playing Terrence because even though he's a, 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 an arrogant so-and-so, oh. <laughs> uh, he, he, um, he, he is a distinguished gentleman. He is um, professional. He is uh, seemingly educated. He, he, is, he does carry himself with dignity and respect, and that's not something that we see portrayed too often, especially in African-American men, especially in, uh, as far as athletes and entertainers are concerned. So I really appreciated the fact that I was able to do that in season one. Where it comes from is just, it's, it's, that's the story they asked me to tell, and, I, and, I, um, and I'm just doing my part to help. I'm, I'm literally playing my part, no pun intended, you know, doing my part to help them tell. Reality TV and all the ratings that they're getting, the popularity they're gaining, you being on VH1 that carries so many reality shows, and do you find it's a big competition in getting the ratings that you need to go to that next season? Well, a lot of hip-hop Atlanta's are leading. And that's the number one show on Monday nights on cable, period. <laughs> uh, no, nah, it's not even up for debate. There's nobody close. I think the next closest thing is like Monday Night Raw or something like that. But they're, but they're moving. They're moving away from that. And I think that a lot of that has to do with the fact that people are getting really tired of mm -hmm. reality. They're, they're beating a dead horse. Um, it's. Uh, we want to see other things as, as a people now. Um, and I think the network is, is realizing that. And so it's not a competition because we are our own beast. VH1 didn't even know what to do with us necessarily in the first season. It was just like, we have this awesome show. We don't even know where to put it. Let's just put it here and hope people. And you know, they put it up, you know, they gave us their best lead in and our, their best, our best chance to survive. And we, we flourished. So, um, it doesn't seem like a competition. The network does love us very much. Our producers are, are always around. Um, and uh, unfortunately, I know who Stevie J is. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it, but it is what it is. And, and um, I, I don't mind it. I, just, I, don't, I, don't, I, just, I think that things are mutually exclusive to a certain extent. It's like, it's like yeah, it's real. Like, I don't even... I know they're all leading. They, I, you know, I'm very thankful for that, and, and you know, obviously I've seen it a couple times as a result of that. But um, I'm happy to be on VH1 because they love us so much. So it doesn't matter what the rest of the stuff that's going on is, and and I do think that they are, they have begun to realize, and they did. Um, they put smiles on people's faces, and that's really one of the things that I feel like we're all here to do. So. Uh, Whatever it is I'm doing, as long as I can put a smile on somebody's face, then it's going to be building. You know? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Far to the left. My name is Joshua King. I represent a group called Happy Jones. Uh, in essence, gimmicks fade, talent lasts forever. Happy Jones.
things. I know you think that if we move too soon, it would all end. I live in misery when you're not around. You're not around. And I won't be satisfied till we're taking those vows. There'll be some love making, heart breaking, soul shaking. Digital ocean with all